How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Lead Therapy and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. Real quick, just a reminder, I have an Instagram and it's Lead 1789 Therapy. If you haven't checked it out already, go take a look. It's a lot different content than what you see here on YouTube. And as always, I really do appreciate everybody's support that likes, shares, and subscribes and hits those post notifications. You guys have been really crushing it and I really do appreciate it. Yesterday, an Oregon judge extended the ban on new gun laws. An Oregon judge on Tuesday declined to lift his order that temporarily freezes part of a new voter approved gun safety measure requiring a completed criminal background check before a gun can be sold or transferred. Harney County Judge Robert S. Ratio previously dealt a blow to gun control advocates when he put all other elements of the tough new law on hold, including a permit to purchase provision and a ban on high capacity magazines. On December 23rd, he heard oral arguments from Oregon on a motion to allow the law's background check provision to take effect even though the constitutionality of the measure 114's other elements were decided by the courts. Under federal law, firearms dealers can sell guns without a completed background check if the check takes longer than three business days. A practice Oregon's new law would end. Ratio last month paused all parts of the Oregon gun control measure. He issued a preliminary injunction against its restrictions on the sale, manufacture, and use of large capacity magazines and a temporary restraining order on the requirement that a permit be obtained to buy a gun. The state has said it will be ready to support a permit program in March. In his opinion issued on Tuesday, Rascio said he would reconsider severing the background check provision of the law from the rest of the measure only if the permit to purchase element was ultimately found to be unconstitutional. He stressed that he has not made a final determination on the constitutionality of any of Measure 114's provisions. The lawsuit in Harney County filed by Gun Owners of America Incorporated, the Gun Owners Foundation and several individual gun owners sought to have the entire law placed on hold while its unconstitutionality is decided. The state lawsuit specifically makes the claims under the Oregon Constitution not the U.S. Constitution. Measure 114 requires a permit, a criminal background check, fingerprinting, and a hands-on training course for new firearms buyers. It also bans the sale, transfer, or import of gun magazines over 10 rounds unless they are owned by law enforcement or a military member or were owned before before the measure's passage. Those who already own high-capacity magazines can only possess them in their homes or use them at a firing range, in shooting competitions, or for hunting, as allowed by state law after the measure takes effect. Gun rights groups, local sheriffs, and gun store owners have filed at least four lawsuits, almost all in federal court, saying the law violates Americans' constitutional right to keep and bear arms. The Hardy County lawsuit is the only one filed in state court. A federal judge in Portland hearing a different challenge to the law under the U.S. Constitution on December 6 delivered an initial victory to proponents of the sweeping gun control measure that passed in the November 8th midterms. In the ruling, U.S. District Court Judge Karen Imrigut allowed the ban on the sale and transfer of new high-capacity magazines to take effect. She also granted a 30-day delay before the law's permit to purchase mandate takes effect, but did not quash it entirely as gun right advocates had wanted. Ratio's subsequent ruling the same day threw the law into limbo because that lawsuit challenged Measure 114 under the Oregon Constitution. It held precedence in the state. Legal experts said the law's fate is being carefully watched by both gun rights advocates and those who want stricter limits on gun ownership. It would be one of the first to take effect since the U.S. Supreme Court in June struck down a New York law that placed limits on carrying guns outside the home. It's nice to know there's still a judge in Oregon that will still uphold Second Amendment rights. But unfortunately, this is just temporary. It could go to a higher court and they could change it. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And like I mentioned at the starting of the video, don't forget to take a look at my Instagram, lead1789therapy. And also, please help the channel out by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. I would definitely appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.